Hello again. In previous videos, we demonstrated how to set up your machine to run the PyMedias models. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create new scenarios and how to tell the model to use them. I'll also show you how to plot simulation results with the plot GUI and how to switch between the world and EU models. So let's start by creating a new scenario. To do so, we need to open the inputs file with any spreadsheet software, duplicate the tab of one of the default scenarios and rename it. BAU stands for business as usual and OLT stands for optimal level transition. The main difference between BAU and OLT scenarios is that in the second, some of the drivers of the model were tuned to simulate a scenario in which active policies are applied starting from 2020 to gear the transition. For this example, I'll be using the BAU scenario as a reference. I'll rename the newly created tab, let's say BAU2, and I'll just increase the yearly growth rate of photovoltaic solar energy to 60%. And I'll save and close the file. Before launching the simulation, we need to activate the virtual environment as we showed in previous videos. To run a simulation using the scenario we just created, we use the following command. The minus F option tells the model to run until 2030. And we also pass the minus P option so that the plotting GUI loads at the end of the simulation. When we run this command, we are shown some of the parameters that will be used in this simulation. In this case, we're using the world model. We'll run the scenario that we just created, so BAU2, and the simulation will cover the period between 1995 to 2030. It also shows us the name of the results file and the folder in which it will be placed when the simulation finishes. At the end of the list, we can see the list of the parameters that were modified with respect to the BAU scenario. As expected, at the end of the simulation, the plot GUI popped up automatically. We can now click on any of the variables from the left panel to plot them. Or if we prefer, we can use the search bar to find any specific variable that we want to plot from the list. We may also want to compare the current results with those of a previous simulation with a different scenario. To do so, we click on the file menu, load file, we select the CSV containing the simulation results of that particular simulation and we just load them. If we now click on any variable, we will see two curves, each one corresponding to a different scenario. Note that the historical and the projected data are represented using different line styles. We can as easily save the plots in PNG format by clicking on the Save button. The name of the file will default to that of the variable that is being displayed. The plot tool can also be run in standalone mode to plot previous simulation results. To do so, we go back to the terminal and run the following command. This command loads the same GUI that we just saw, but in this case, we need to load the results before we can plot them. One last thing that I need to mention is that to switch between the world and EU models, you need to edit the config file changing the value after the model label as I'm doing right now. And that was the last thing that I wanted to show you. So that's how you run a simulation with a user-defined scenario and plot the results. And we have also covered how to switch between the EU and world models. Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions or comments, as always, please leave them in the Medeas website forum. Bye!